Oh, okay. So now you see that there, when we tiled it ten times, we repeated the UV coordinates ten times, like we did here. Uh, you see that this, there's better distribution on the on the UVs, so the texture is repeated many more times. And there's a, there are a few things that we need to work with here with the cylinder, but the sphere looks pretty decent, and uh, so does the box. Okay, so let's close the hypershade so that we don't have so many things over there, and uh, let's go to the UVs for that uh, polygon cylinder. So let's uh, open here the UV editor window. And first of all, so that you don't get a headache, let's uh, turn off the texture over here on that icon on the UV editor. And let's take a look at what happens when we start moving. Uh, let me put it over here. And then let's frame the cylinder over here. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see what happens here. Let's go to... Um, UV mode, let me show you what happens if we try to, you know, move things around. Um, let's say that I, you know, pick that, you know, you might leave, uh, you know, a, uh, a UV kind of orphan there that, you know, gets stuck. Go to face mode when you start moving your, your geometry and then the easiest way will be to just drag a, a selection around in the middle. And that way you can separate the top from the bottom from the side. I'm going to now select the scale tool and I'm going to stretch horizontally. And as you see the UVs start responding better and the texture starts placing much nicer now on the middle part of the cylinder. So what I'll do is I'll probably stop right there because it looks fairly good. And I am going to um, select that once again and I'm going to move it uh, separate this this area over here I'm going to move this guy over here and the, whole, the only reason is uh, not, not to make a happy face or anything like that is, <laughs> is to um, get those UVs on that default area placed in a way that we can see them all inside the default area so there you go um, you know, this edge here is inside, this edge is here is inside, the proportions look great. Now I can just go ahead and paint this and paint this. You can always do, uh, you know, overlap these two because they're very, this, they're pretty much identical pieces. So if you want to do that, you can do that. If, they're, if you think that they're going to be the same color. And uh, so then the last part we need to do is uh, render this area uh, so that you can upload it to the classroom and show how you laid out your UVs. So you go um, uh, polygons, UV snapshot, and the window went away. There you go. And the fi for file name, you know, you just call it whatever temp whatever you want to do. Uh, this this will go to the default project wherever you ha have set the default. But you can always browse and save it to a location where you will like it to go. Okay. Uh, for t for the size, five twelve is okay. So if you want to do five twelve, but five twelve, that would be great. And uh, format, you can use JPEG because we don't have we don't really need to have transparency information or um, like too much information there. JPEG creates a little bit of distortion, but uh, it is okay to have it for the UV template. And that's that's it. You press OK. When you press OK, it will save you a JPEG with the name that you did here, and that's what you will save to the classroom. Okay. And you do that for the three pieces of geometry there: the cylinder, the sphere, and the box. And the last thing you want to do is render. So let's go render and render current frame. And here's your, your uh, render viewport. If you did want to notice how, you know, the checkers kind of blend a lot with, uh, blend too much with, um, with the background, you can always select the camera. So go view, select the camera, and change the background color there on the attributes for the camera. And it's under the environment section. So you select background color and let's say gray. Let's use a gray. And let's render again. Let's see how it looks. Render. You see it separates more the edges of the geometry. So enjoy it. <laughs>